Bucket lymphoma was named after Dr. Dennis Bucket, who was an Irish surgeon. It refers to a high-grade beta cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma that is characterized by a deregulation and a mutation of the CMYC gene on chromosome 8, resulting from translocation between the chromosome 8 and chromosome 14. The MYC gene is a proto-oncogene, and its activation is responsible for tumor proliferation, and overproduction of the MYC proto-oncogene can change the lymphocytes to cancer cells. It has three major forms, that is the endemic or the African form, non-endemic or sporadic form, and an immunodeficiency associated subtype. Bucking lymphoma is a childhood tumor but is observed in an adult patients and is one of the fastest glowing malignancies in human beings with a very high growth fraction. The male to female ratio is 3 to 1 and bucking lymphoma is the most common in children. Bucket lymphoma is a monoclonal proliferation of beta lymphocytes that is characterized by small non-clipped cells that are uniform in appearance and that produce a diffuse pattern of tissue involvement. Under the microscope, it is characterized by presence of sterisca, appearance impacted by scattered macrophages with phagocytes cell debris. The African form most often involves the maxilla the mandible and lesser involvement of the abdominal organs. The sporadic form involves abdominal organs, commonly the distal ilium, cecum, or the mesentery, and less common involvement of other abdominal organs such as the pelvis organs and facial bones. The Epstein-Barr virus or EBV virus is implicated in the African form and associated with about 20% of the sporadic cases. Bacchial lymphoma carries a translocation of the CMYC oncogene from chromosome 8 to either immunoglobulin heavy chain region of chromosome 14 or one of the light chain loci of chromosome 2, that is the kappa light gene, or chromosome 22, the lambda light chain. The rare adult cases are associated with immunodeficiency, particularly acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. The lymphocytes have receptors for Epstein-Barr virus and are in specific target. In the African form, the hosts are unable to mount an appropriate immune response to the primary Epstein-Barr virus infection because of a coexistent malaria or other infection that is immunosuppressive in these individuals. The clinical features of Bacchial lymphoma are a soft tissue mass on the infected jaw or rather facial bone, loosening of the teeth, weight loss, non-tender cervical lymphadenopathy, Abdominal masses and ascites are the most common features. Night sweats, epidermis, skin nodules, central nervous system symptoms, together with bone marrow involvement and symptoms of bile obstruction may occur. Derangement of metabolic and renal function will occur very fast in these patients. And in rare cases, the patients can present as acute leukemia with fever, anemia, bleeding, and adenopathy. In adults, the staging follows the unable system of staging. We have stage one whereby the tumor is limited to one group of lymph nodes, eight above or below the diaphragm, organ or part of the body other than the lymph nodes, but has not been spread to other organs or lymph nodes. In stage two, the lymphoma is in two or more lymph nodes in the same side of the diaphragm. Only one organ is involved and has spread to the lymph nodes near the organ. In stage 3 now, the lymphoma is present in groups of lymph nodes on both sides of the diaphragm and may involve an organ or site outside the lymph nodes such as the spleen or both. Stage 4, the lymphoma is disseminated throughout one or more organs outside the lymph nodes and there may be or may not be involvement of the lymph nodes that are remote from the affected organs. Letter A can be used for patients with no general symptoms and B, for patients with any of the following symptoms such as unexplained weight loss of more than 10% of body weight in the last six months and unexplained fever or drenching night sweats. And E can be used for malignancies that are outside the lymph nodes, D for the skin or H for the liver sometimes. 
In children, we use St. Jude's children such hospital staging system. Stage 1, whereby the single tumor of the deceased lymph node. The stage 2, we have two or more tumors of the deceased lymph nodes on the same side of the diaphragm. Stage 3, we have large chest or abdominal tumors. And stage 4, we have involvement of the bone marrow and the central nervous system. The investigations you do in these patients will be the full blood count and erythrocyte sensitization rate, serum electrolyte levels, urea and creatine levels, uric acid levels, liver function tests, biopsy of the suspected lymph node and other disease size. Fine needle aspiration of the lymph node may also be done. CSF also should be evaluated in all cases of bacillifoma, cytogenic studies of peritoneal and periodal fluid, chest x-ray to rule out metastasis, chest a CT scan if the chest x ray is abnormal should be done, abdominal ultrasound, abdominal CT scan, and head to spine CT scan or MRI. Then you do a bone scan and a plain bone radiograph. Supportive treatment whereby you transfuse the patients if they are pale, intravenous fluids when dehydrated, antibiotics, and antiemetics if the patients are on chemotherapy. Treatment of tumor lysis syndrome. Antipyretic should be administered in these patients when they have hyperpyretic or fever. And the definitive treatment is chemotherapy where you'll be using a combined group of antineoplastic agents, alkylating agents, glucocorticoids, and urate oxidase enzymes in your treatment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can like our videos.